Hey gang, we're looking at the beginning of the third turn, the 8th of October 1941, and the Germans have initiative. They received their average allocation of supply, 13 SP, and we are going to look at the map from the perspective of the Soviets and just see what's going on, just to kind of have a, a different view. And we'll do kind of run down the map real quick, and this should be uh, serve as a summary for the uh, the rest of the for the for the term for the second term. So up in the north, not a whole lot happened. Uh, I found it very difficult to get much activity at all up there. In fact, I transferred some supply out and pulled the SS formation that's up there out and shifted them down into the main thrust of the, the German attack, which is happening over here. And uh, what we have going on over there is a whole bunch of uh, nastiness. The 14th, I think it is, is in there somewhere. 14th motorized laid off and uh, attacked a unit on the corner here and cleared the way. And then we pushed 1st and 19th Panzer all the way through. And then the remnants of 14th then, oops, went too far, then pressed onto Miasma. And so they've got a partial surround of Miasma right there. And over here on this side, the 6th and parts of the 7th Division are trying to, are trying to knock out uh, Nel Ledovo, I think it is. I want to close that railroad so that we can knock out the units that are uh, just up there at the top of the screen. And when I do that, it gives me an opportunity to push four or five divisions uh, on towards Rejev, infantry divisions towards Rejev, which is right here. So it looks like I'm going towards Rejev right now, but I'm pretty much going to force uh, the rest of these guys over towards Viasma and lock in the, the majority of uh, all of these guys if I can. Before they get, before they have a chance to get away, and they can live off tree bark if they want to, but I think uh, I'm not going to have to do any combat this turn really at all. Uh, give me a chance to push some supply forward and really uh, close that pocket nice and tightly, and it'll be a pretty significant sized uh, event there. Now, if we move over a little further to the northern part of the map above this turn of this guy. So here's, here's Bryant's Kia, which is part, mostly blocked off at the moment. We've got forces, uh, let's see. I've got a bunch of stuff on my screen. Here it is here. Okay, so 10th and 5th have uh, engaged those units there. And uh, I think we've got those guys, those guys will be out of supply next turn and that will finish off putting all of this Bryant's pocket, uh, Bryant's area, Bryant's carry out of supply, even though they have a fair amount of SP in there. There's four, six, yeah, there's a, at least 11 SP. So they can last a while. This pocket, this, guy, this group of guys right here cannot last much longer unless they use the tree bark, of course. All right, uh, and then that group there, actually we had a little breakaway, <laughs> little race sent those fast SS units from uh, up, to the, up the highway here towards uh, Yukonov. You know, I could see forces starting to move down this way, so it seemed to make sense to try and uh, press up as far as we can. And, and if we can, you know, what we'll do is, is come across this way and lock off at this river and and put Viasma to bed before it even gets a chance to get reinforced or do too much more. So that's been really interesting. I don't see how the Soviets could have done much else. They were very aggressive with their air attacks. They had back-to-back -back turns. They started pulling some units back to try and get out. I couldn't get very far because they had difficulties getting transport SP in or supplies in to fuel their trucks and things, so that was a challenge. Uh, over on this side, there weren't really areas for us to do much attacking. Now I could, this turn, uh, when it's the Soviet turn, attack a whole bunch of units and uh, see what sort of results we get, although we'll be 
out of supply doing that and halved. So that's not going to be terribly exciting. We did, however, invest some time in putting additional hedgehogs up here and uh, springs for hedgehog love over here and extending this line for Tula as well. And in interestingly, over on the Aurel uh, Kursk side of the map, there's Kursk in the distance there where that black block is. Uh, let's see, what do we want to say about this? I, I, because I was DG'd last turn, these guys really didn't do much. They just reorganized their stacks so they weren't quite so high <laughs> and dense and therefore receiving uh, penalties when they were being bombed. And we started to we started to push some of these western around, try and get around here just a little bit. And third panzer is, will have this guy out of supply this turn, unless this chappy jumps in, which we'd be more than happy to have him do that. And down in Kursk, we actually execute one overrun attack. I'll try to come a little bit closer here. Right here, we execute an overrun attack with this little stack. And uh, we cross the river and move one hex into there. And I took that guy out and it was kind of, because you know, it was in strat mode. <laughs> <laughs> and I really didn't think, as a Soviet player, I didn't think these guys would come down that far or take that risk. But when we look around, you know, there's nothing else here that's going to cause a problem. This is a, this is like a wasteland. There's no units. There's a few air units. That's it. All right. Further down here, let's put the light over here now so we can get some zoom on here. Over here. We've got some guys pocketed, one or two guys pocketed there, and we managed to extend this, this line here and uh, flip everybody over to their combat side so there will be no uh, groovy little breakout attempts unless they uh, want to fight at really crappy odds. We rescued our forces. I'm sorry about the focus, guys. There's a limit to the zoom on these things, and uh, it's never, there's never enough. I'm at 12 now. Okay, so there we go. Should do it like Enrico, hey? And just uh, hold it up there and swing it about. So the Soviets were pre pretty hard pressed down here to, to manage all of the movement by the German player. Uh, they pressed pretty deeply there. And then all the way down the other end, uh, we really didn't do anything except for one attack in Sebastopol, which I'll try to show you real quick from here. So right there you can probably see the beginnings of the little encirclement. That's kind of feeble. But there's some fairly hefty hedgehogs built there. And we don't want to have to fight, we'd rather choke them out. So we're going to do that. And same here, we we took these guys out right here. They're, they're going to be out of supply next turn as well. So don't expect a lot of movement down here. And that means I've got to push some supply up the food chain and uh, give everybody a little bit of a breather down there. We did not receive any reinforcements this turn. In fact, we lost a truck, which is going to suck. I'm going to work out where I'm going to take that from. Uh, I've got a refit the airfields and then we will get stuck into turn three. All right, talk to you soon.